And I'll just carry on with some of the detailing of the foliage behind the pot. Uh, and we'll put some up here. In this case, of course, I'm just painting around the areas I don't want to really touch. There's a sort of hummingbird feeder here, so I'll just suggest a gloss here. Well, there's an open doorway, and I'm just going to do a kind of wet into wet, which will go almost to the edge of the page. I can carry it on later if I want to and uh, block in some more of the dark areas that we see through the window into the house. Just wet into wet. Now just to define this door a little bit more I'm going to suggest part of the frame there and I don't want to make a big deal out of it. It's just something I'm going to hint at more than describe. Also um, Underneath the door, there's a bit of a f shadow as it moves along the stonework of the patio. And suggest the leaves a little more of that sort of plant in the background. There's something, there's a stone back here, and we can deepen the shadow, which is being cast by the, by the flower pot. Um, all right, maybe needs a little more description of the this stonework here. Um, and the divisions between the stone. But as I said before, I don't want to get carried away with a detail like that. We only want to describe the texture and describe what kind of surface is, is there really. And again, you can come back, come back to that, of course, when that's dry. Well, there's a pillar inside the house. You can see within, inside the, right through the window to the interior, there's a pillar in the interior of the house. So, just suggest that a little bit too. And some of these dark areas I'm blocking in are more useful to simply define the, um, that vine, which is the trunks of the vine, which is rising up here, which is a lighter color than what's in the background. Well, we'll end this here right now. Just put in a little bit of wet into wet and we'll talk more about uh, wet into wet in the next part.